hi friends in today's video i'll show you how to make star maker logo so first we'll trace it out there are many confusion in this part so first let's trace it out slow by slow let's make it up into proper variations i have removed multiple variations of star maker logo so first i'm making it into png this is a jpeg image which i have downloaded from the internet and i'm converting the jpeg image into png first so i have traced down by using the star tool and circle tool and further i'll use the pen tool now here yeah, i am using the pen tool to trace the mic part of it yeah then I'll use the square tool first we highlighted yeah now I'll make this square tool to make the inner part of the mic so I'll make it a little bigger now let's use the pathfinder shift ctrl f9 and cut the inner part of it it's got cut yes in got you can check it out so now let's color it up into its same color see and show you clearly how it get cut not this this one see it's cut so we drilled a hole in between to check out the mic so the star maker logo is done now let's do the font of it some of the beginners find the font for it but with this you can't find because it's made using the pen tool this logo has been created see some of them do the shortcut way of this but it's useless because you don't get the font at that time we keep searching it up waste of time so best thing is create the logo by tracing it with the pen tool yeah that one looks nice if it had been the logo this one yeah so let's trace it out with the pen tool we close the black mark and we cut it out and use the back uh, background of it and you can see the highlighted part clearly and yeah step by step slow by slow trace it out nicely make the s look visible yeah and part is done let's go for the t For this, we'll use the circle tool. No need of pen tool. We'll use the circle tool, and we'll use this tool to give the shape in the clear line.
if you want the name of this tool you can comment me in the in the comment section you can comment me if you want the name of this tool which i'm using it not the pen tool which i used to make the inner shape of the a now here i'm making the r R is done. Now we simply drag the R for this side, and we make the M part of it. Take the rectangle tool and drag it like that. And here, yeah, give the shape properly with the direct selection tool. Select that A and drag it over there by using the Alt tool. Type it out. Now we're making the key. And the last R. See the key you can make in different ways also by using the same method. Even there is a cut tool, a knife tool, a slice tool in this toolbar. So I'll show you how it did I use it. Now need the pen tool and make the E and I'll make it ready. And yeah, the E in a part is part. It's done. So let's make this one. Okay. Here yeah, this one is done. This side. We want a semicircle of it. And then afterwards we have to click the layer in proper position. See how do I do it? Drag the tool clearly. Yeah, one part is done. So now we want the K. First we color it out. We can't see the part. So before coloring we'll check out how it looks see if you color the parts it will look different see so now we have to cut many of it so we simply drag the k out copy it and we check it out over here this thing is disturbing let's take it out okay do this thing now we try to cut it out by using the pathfinder first we'll simply use the pathfinder to check if it really cuts it it get cut sometime but due to the illustrator when it gets hanged up it takes time Because the file is more heavy than anything, it takes time to get cut up. See how much of the tool we are using is getting hanged up. Now we'll use this slice tool. First, we'll color it also and we'll check it. I'll show you. See, it's not cutting, it's getting merged into the image. Again, I'll show you. See, it's getting merged up. So we'll try to get the slice tool from the toolbar. Let's switch it up. Here we got it. I'll show you how to cut it. This is the knife tool which is activated, but we want the slice tool for it. Checking out the color, it's proper. Nice tool. See, when it gets hanged up, it does not work. 
that's that's for time to worry. There are many tools which you can just use and practice it out in Lost River. It's too easy. Yeah, see this nice tool. It has been disabled, which you can't use at the moment. No problem. Let's try something else. The scissor tool. We have to use the scissor tool on the segment line, not the end of the line. So I'll show you how it gets cut out. See. So when I'm selecting this parts and I use the tool, already it got cut, so I'm moving it out that much far. And there are how many more extra parts got cut out and rebuild it again instead of one and two and see how it got cut if i try to rebuild it no i'll first remove this thing out and try to re say, rebuild it with the pen tool so i'm using it same thing i have to use it downwards so let's drag and copy this by using the alt tab Twist it, transform, reflect, and now we reflect it into the position of it. Make it a little small now. Yeah, it's done. Just twist it a little bit down. Yes. Now the cage is ready. Just select it and take it downwards. it and taking it downside and fixing it to the original what we have made because we'll delete this one we don't need this thing so tell it you go up and sit there okay now our stomach oh, this is really nervous adjust it near our stomach oh. and yeah let's color it out Check how it looks. So, which color do we put? Let's try with white. Promote the background border. Hmm, it looks so good. See this one we have to use pathfinder first we have to get it to front. We'll color the background part and get the and image. Use the pathfinder and lock it. Now we locked it. Now we use the second one. Second A also we'll put the same. We'll delete this and drag and copy it there. So let's color this whole thing into white. By using the eyedropper tool I colored it. Same thing over here. I have to first cut this out, color this part, get the image front, select both and cut there. Yeah. It's done. Now let's select height of button. Done. So one logo is ready. Let's drag it downwards. Yeah. You can't see it in the so let's keep it up. Now let's make the background of it background is where so let's make the background you can't see where it is so keep it upside let's keep it TV non-use materials let's get this image front color the image into black and white ok now it's done let's check this thing Okay, we want the same case like this, black and white. So the image is gone back, I got it found. Now you can see it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, come. Yeah, it's come. Now let's color the same thing, what's given in the original of the internet logo. 
then we have to put the same color for it by using the internet logo color actual logo is done like that so we use the gradient tool for it because it's made full of gradient so let's try and hold this thing outside and let's color the part first press on with the non-use materials that can be seen the screen now let's color the part by using the gradient tool it will just get activated yeah let's count three two one okay now wait it's gone on the border line gradient we want in the front now we need to click on gradient let's go now let's put the color excuse me okay color is coming into horizontal way so and vertical position and it is into portrait way we don't want it in the landscape so let's use the free we have to use the free arm of the gradient so you can paint it into proper color the color is not coming clear <coughs> yes. because it will take the line wise so let's select the gradient tool again click on the free color tool and wait for it to get activated it will look like a line we want it same as the internet one see how it's looking not the same as we want so here it got activated now we can paint it as we want so let's color it out by using the free gradient tool Yeah, we got the same one. Keep coloring out, checking the colors, the color tone, and the shape of the color. Mm, yeah. So I think so done. Now let's make the inner position of it. Which is on hand, let's take the front. Yeah. Now uh, let's keep it on the star and check the width and height of the star maker background box. Yeah. Same box. Made it into shape. Okay, now let's do the color for it. This is the shadow mode. We are using the gradient, we are giving the shadow color for it. Don't forget to press the bell icon friends. Do subscribe the channel. I'll keep posting such videos related to education and Adobe Illustrator. Just make this star a little thicker. It looks very weak. It did not eat food, I think so. Let's feed him up. Take, 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 take. Oh, it's not too fat. Let's make for him gym now. There, there, there. Yeah. 
so I started to come very become killed a bodybuilder now let's keep this time with some logo I'm in the <laughs> yep now it's okay let's purchase this part where we can see it unclear and it's not clean so we'll increase the size and everything and let's make it proper and see how it looks same as it is so first image what we downloaded from the internet it was the jpeg image which we did into png and now for png we are going to do it into 3d now see how i do it 3d first we make all the parts separate it will not be turned so first you have to make a triangle and then make the triangle uh, I mean not a triangle sorry the square so first you have to make the square make the square into 3d using the effect and then use the gradient because we can use directly they use the tool before the image now how it's made see the image is made and we try to make it into 3d but it's not happening due to some issue of gradient tool so that's why i traced it again and directly i make it into 3d which happens quickly you see this is the way and then we use gradient on it see black and white takes time see like that you should put the color now we use gradient on it see we to use the eyedropper tool it did not take the shape so we use directly on it you yeah, see now it's come now we put it behind and check it part is already of it so now let's make the name into 3d so this is ready let's adjust it near our 3d star let's start make a name the background should be background in the same this one convert into 3d so we have to do the same procedure how we did for the first one the first square See the color is not coming because we use the uh, background. Now we use the color. So it's come. So now let's convert this thing behind it. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Please do wash your hands and wear a mask while going outside and stay home. Stay safe. I pause the video over here 
I give you time to go and wash your hands. Please go and wash your hands. Did you wash their hand? Go wash it up fast. Clean your hands thoroughly. Use the liquid sanitizer to wash it. Yep. I'm back with the video. Yeah. I have done the part so nicely. Now I'm doing the second part of it. I'm addressing this into that. I mean the stomach or name. I'm making it a PNG and I'm fixing it over here. Now let's take it over here and we need to make the original logo of how we took it from the internet. Let's make the same one over here too to show you the proof of how it's made. So now we need the name. Let's pick the, the name from here. I'm taking a new board to check out the name and the artboard. So let's to make it into normal position back. The bigness keeps searching. Actually, it's in the layer the eye just turn off it it will get back into normal this is the weakness to the mistake they keep searching it up shortcut way just turn off the effect so thank you for watching